Hi, and welcome to HISD's Book Talks. My name is Caroline Becker, and I'm on the ELA Curriculum and Development team. I'm going to talk to you today about a novel called Fish in a Tree by Linda Mullaly Hunt. Fish in a Tree is a story about trying to fit in in school, both socially and academically. The protagonist, Allie, has moved several times in several years because her father is in the military. Trying to fit in and make friends at school has become like a job for her. Allie is a very talented artist, but she does struggle with reading and writing. She finally meets a teacher who begins to understand why she struggles and who wants to help her. With the support of Mr. Daniels and her eccentric friends, Keisha and Albert, Allie begins to discover what really makes her special. I'm going to read an excerpt for you from a section where Mr. Daniels asks Allie to explain the difference between the words alone and lonely for her classmates. I lock eyes with Mr. Daniels and I forget anyone else is even there. I say, well, alone is a way to be. It's being by yourself with no one else around. And it can be good or bad. And it can be a choice. When my mom and brother are both working, I'm alone, but I don't mind it. I swallow hard, shift in my seat. But being lonely is never a choice. It's not about who is with you or not. You can feel lonely when you're alone, but the worst kind of lonely is when you're in a room full of people, but you're still alone, or you feel like you are anyway. I look at Mr. Daniels. He has his hands stuffed in his pockets, and his face looks sad. I try to remember what I just said, but speaking in class has made me so nervous that my mind is doing its etch-a-sketch thing, unable to play my words back. What did I say? Why does he look like that? Staying quiet and having people think you're stupid is better than talking and having people know for sure. I really liked this book because it reminded me about the internal struggles students have when they're trying to show their learning in school. I think that this book has something for everyone, but especially for students who feel that they're unique learners and for the educators who are trying to reach them. Unsurprisingly, this is a New York Times bestseller and winner of the Schneider Family Book Award. I hope this book talk helped you learn more about Fish in a Tree and that it piqued your interest. But if not, stay tuned for the next book talk and we'll help you find the perfect fit.